Hello and welcome to the course on API and Open Banking. While API has emerged as one of the most important distribution channel in services industry, it is now making its way into financial services as well. And on the other side, Open Banking along with PSD2 and GDPR is changing the way we reclaim our own personal data and we deliver financial services and we also consume the financial services. While currently Open Banking, PSD2 and GDPR is a regional initiative in European Union and UK. However, its impact can be felt across the globe. Everyone is asking for Open Banking, PSD2 and GDPR. Why? Because it helps you to get better services in financial services and also to claim rights on your own personal data. Till now, people were not aware how their personal data was being used and there was no standard law. Everyone was following its own law. While there was definitely a larger goal and larger rule which was regulating it, however, there was no standardization on how financial services will be delivered, how information will be shared across entity. And these concepts like API, Open Banking, PSD2 and GDPR makes it more standardized. So with the advancement of API, Open Banking, PSD2 and GDPR, can we also say that banks in future will become warehouse of banking services? So we'll start from what is the basic of an API. What is an API? What are different types of API? And then we'll also understand the basic of API through an example. Though this is a non-technical business course, hence I will not be talking a lot about technical aspects of APIs and how integration will happen. It will be mostly for the business purposes only and it will give you a much needed insight on what API, Open Banking, PSD2 and GDPR is. Then we'll move to PSD2 where we will talk about different aspects and elements of PSD2 like AISP, PISP, access to account and after understanding those concepts you will go to gdpr what are the basic principles of gdpr what are the rights of gdpr in gdpr what are the penalties defined in the gdpr and after that we'll talk about what are different stakeholders which will get impacted because of this psd2 with gdpr and open banking and what are their point of views and towards end we will talk about opportunities and challenges in implementing open banking psd2 and at the end of the course i will leave you with some of the examples and use cases for open banking and psd2 in banking domain in payments domain in third party domain i'm already excited to meet you in the course and to run you through the entire course and talk about these things in detail so till the time think about api and open banking see you in the next section take care thank you